Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jad TV. I am Jay Leb and this is Football Manager 2021, the Youth Academy Challenge Save with Sienna. If you like these kind of videos, be sure to like and share this video and to subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a lot. We've just had our youth intake preview after our latest match, and I was really happy with the fact that we got this opportunity. And if this is true, then this could not have come a better time because our weakness right now in the team is our goalkeeping strength, our centre-backs, and yes, there's another striker, but honestly, I'll take that. Still, the fact that it's an excellent group of players, not a golden generation, is a bit concerning, but it's not the end of the world. The fact we've got no defensive midfielders, no wing-backs coming through is interesting. The fact that the wingers are not so great, the attacking midfielders don't look great either, and neither do the full-backs. Leaves a little to be desired, but I guess it could be a lot worse at the same time. It's something I'm looking to see. Maybe, just maybe, the positions we're looking at in the green could be very good for us. And hopefully, they'll be very promising or great prospects. So, I want them to be good. I really want them to be good because it will help our strength. And I think the goalkeeping position right now is actually one of my weakest areas, despite everything. So, it is what it is, sadly enough. Also, a few more things have happened. We've got our Europa League conference draw, and I'll show you right now who we got. We have got WSG Tavil of Austria. The Austrian team have actually finished third place in their leagues twice in the last three seasons, so it's very much interesting. We're apparently the higher seeded team as well, which again, I didn't know much about, but I'll take regardless. And we've also got one more thing that's happened. I requested the board find another affiliate club because I want to expand our influence, expand our reach, and they actually agreed to do it. So we're going to be looking at another affiliate club, which is very, very useful indeed. And hopefully, hopefully it could be very interesting. Even if they're doing it just to loan players out, if we can get a club that's pretty big, I'll be very happy indeed. So hopefully it'll be a good team. Still though, we've had a few games since we last met. Shall we talk about them? Since the last game, we had about five matches. The first of which was against Atalanta and Puna. Scored twice. The first goal was that one. The keeper made a bit of a mistake trying to die for that. And I was disappointed. And then he scored his second in the 22nd minute of the game. So two goals in about eight minutes for Puna. Kind of made us look a bit stupid. We do get a goal back in the second half in the 69th minute of the game. After Viertina finds Polina. Who finds Conte? Conte plays the ball through to Mapele. And Mapele gets a goal back, but unfortunately, that was all we were able to do, despite having more chances, despite having the better XG, we just didn't do ourselves justice here, and we deserve to lose, so quite frankly, when our goalkeeper gets a 6.3 rating, you know it's a bad sign, and I wish we could do more on this, I really do. The next game we had was at home to Bologna, and we were behind, and considered the only goal inside for five minutes, it was very lucky it went in, but sometimes it just goes against you, and it is against a team that we're expected to lose against. They had twice as many shots on goal, and four times as many shots on target than we did. So, really, I'm not surprised with this, and it was just a matter of how bad are we going to do. And the fact that it was just one goal kind of says a lot, but what can you do when you're not doing so well in midfield, and you're struggling to cope with them up front and in defence as well? Doesn't really help, does it? We then went to Genoa and drew 2-2, but not before going 2-0 down when Holmes scores the first goal of the game with that effort 12 minutes in because we make a defensive mistake. It's not a good sign. And the fact it's 21 minutes into the game, we're 2-0 down. Perez making a nuisance of himself, but then Holmes gets there first. It's just not good. I'm regressing Puro Bertoriti in the game at this point, but we get a goal just before the end of the first half. After Colusi finds Conti, Conti plays the ball in the middle and he finds Viettini, who makes it 2-1. And we get ourselves an equaliser inside the first six minutes of the second half. Mapelli plays it across to find Viettini, who somehow gets it in. I don't know how he does it, but he does. 2-2. Unfortunately, we couldn't get ourselves a winner, despite having the better of the chances afterwards. We went more attacking, went for a 4-2-4 formation instead of the 4-4-2. It didn't work, apart from the fact that we got the two goals. 
other than that, they were very good defensively and we were the dominant team. So I feel a little disappointed that we didn't win this game, but honestly being 2-0 down at one point and making it 2-2 two -two and getting something out of this is still pretty good. It's just a shame that the goalkeeper, again, was really bad in this game. The next game we had was a 2-2 draw against Real Betis. Yeah, remember this team being us last time? We took the lead inside 16, 17 minutes after Mangoni gets his first Europa League goal. And then we make it 2-0 inside 30 minutes. Mangoni involved the game, finds Malpelli. Who does that? 2-0 inside 30 minutes. And perhaps I should have got a bit more defensive because we could see from this corner, 2-1. And in the 90th minute of the game, we have give the ball away needlessly. And we are made to pay for it. Tour with the equaliser, 90 minutes in. They get an equaliser. Batiste still failed to win the group because of this result. But we still finished him third place regardless. It didn't make a difference. We drew half our games in the group. But lost two of them and drew one. So if we had done better against Batiste and Schalke in the first two games of the group. We might have been up there fighting for the group. But it is what it is. And we didn't do us justice at the end of the day. So it is what it is. The last game we had was a 2-0 win against Roma. Yes, Roma seemed to be the team we can beat, it feels like. Jodobot gets the first goal of the game inside 30 minutes, a very nice header from him. And then in the 65th minute of the game, we make it to... And Rendai finds Calandra, who does that first time ever, and he finds back at the net. You know, it's a good goal. 63 minutes in, 2-0. Did we deserve the scoreline? I think yes, because the chance they had, it was only really one good chance. But we had the more chances and more shots on goal, on target. So, yeah, we deserve this. And I'm not complaining. We beat a Roma side that is struggling in the league again. Why do they always struggle? That's my question right now. But still, as things stand, not being our best run of form. And I can see us losing again today because we have Inter Milan. We are currently down in ninth place after a bit of a patchy run of form. Two defeats in the last four. It doesn't help our case. And the fact we drew against Betis hasn't helped either. I feel like we should have beaten Genoa, but I'm happy with the point regardless. We sh probably should have got a point against Atalanta, but I'm not upset with the Bologna game because that was a game we were expected to lose. But we lost three times this year and we've only lost one at home. So yeah, if we can avoid losing again, that'd be very nice indeed. With that being said, we got into Milan first and then after the winter break is Juventus. I'm not expecting a good time. I'm just going to say this here now. I'm also looking forward to seeing who we get for our affiliates. So if we once we get that, I'll let you guys know afterwards. I'm also going to try and make it so we can officially ensure that... Oh, we can negotiate now. Can we do this? Can we do this? Can we get this? There we go. Immediately, they say yeah. So now we've got that set up for Cyprus. And that is very promising indeed. If we can get some Greek or Cypriot players from this intake uh, link now then i'll be very happy indeed it's a bit late for this intake but if we could do more of it then who knows what we can do right either way we're gonna take on inter milan we're probably gonna lose i'm gonna go attack it anyway because i kind of want to try and scare them if anything and if we can scare inter milan then we can probably do a lot of damage right either way let's see how we do in this game We've got Basilico in defence. We've got Colus in the right back. We've got Bertie and Polina in the centre backs. Ishan starts to the left. Mapelli on the right. Dai in the centre of the field, partnering alongside Calandra. Mangoni's on the left. Giatini's up front alongside John Abbott. It's a full strength 11 to the best of my ability. I haven't, I've actually dropped Rossi because he's suspended. No, Rossi's actually on the bench. So I just wanted to give this team a run out and I think we can win. I really do. Either way, let's see how we do get into Milan. A team that looks like they could do a lot of damage to us. They have a corner already inside two minutes and we get the ball away. I found that going against a 4 3 3 like Inter Milan have set up as that we do better against them. And here we have a chance of Bot finds Mangoni. Surely a chance to make it 1 0. Oh, it's a save for Piccioni. Okay. Diamante with a free kick goes and plays it in. And oh dear. We've got a free kick. Now, probably takes it. I don't think anything's going to come for, for us. Oh dear, oh Bertie, how have you missed? So we're told Dai to ease off his tackles. It's shown with the throw. That's not the best throw from his point of view, but I think it also didn't help the midfielder back away from it. But here's Calandra. Now Dai, Calandra, good ball to Mapelli. A chance to Mapelli. We're not doing well with these chances, are we? We haven't chances. We're carving out opportunities, but we're not taking them. And now Piccioni plays the ball forward. We get the ball back, though. A Bertie, 
This feels like we could actually do some damage against Inter Milan here. I can't believe I'm saying that, but here's Dai. Finds Mel Pele. Here's Calandra. Now Viettini, Mangoni. Oh dear. Not the best ball, but Colusi gets it back anyway. So what can he do from here? Oh, Bird, he plays the ball forward. I've not found a bot. And now I just counter tap for Inter Milan. And Diamante's in. This is bad. Good save from Basilico, though. That's a very good save. We've got a chance on this throw. Colusi takes it. It's not the best throw, but dies on the ball now. Plays it to Kalusi, who can do some damage. Can play it back, though, to die. Has done. Goes for goal. Blocks. Can play it across, though. Or do that. Yeah, he's found Mepele, actually. Well done to him. Die. Kalusi. Ah, oh, it's Mepele. Okay, what can you do? We need you to do something. He's done well. Cuts inside. Kalusi. A bot to chance. Oh, no. He's been blocked. And now it's a chance for Inter Milan. We're definitely causing problems for them. And now the Diamante with a chance. And good defending from Polino. Well done to the Portuguese defender. I'm going to coach the team. Because I think we definitely could do some damage here. This is not a bad performance from us. I was expecting worse. But here's Fiatini. Finds Mangoni. Chance for Mangoni. Denied for the goalkeeper again. That's a corner. We are definitely making Inter Milan worry here. This is really entertaining stuff, actually. I, I am not concerned by this. I'm not making any changes because I think we're okay. If we concede, it's not great, but we're both very open, it feels like. We're both attacking. And Delu, how has he got in? That's a bad miss again. They're having those good chances, but they're missing them too. But so are we. And I've birds he should have scored. They should have got two goals so far. And again, we're going to get the ball back. And this could be good. I don't know how long it's going to go on for the highlight. Though. Here's Dai, Kalusi. And this is really good. Francisco Dai plays a ball forward to Mepele. He can play the cross. It's been blocked. And that should be in the highlight. Unless there's a little more to come. Diamante now comes forward. We're so open. But both teams are very dangerous. And this is a chance. This time and save. But they have scored this cause of the rebound. I feel a bit unfortunate here. I feel like we've been very unfortunate to concede it here. Yes, they've had chances. But so have we. And it's only because a player's there at the rebound, the three strikers doing their damage, doing their thing. And it's a very... Look at where he is. The problem here is, our defender is trying to not pick up the fact he's there, and he lets it happen. Should have dealt with it. Should have dealt with it more. Look at the XG, by the way. Look at this. 1.41 for them. 1.24 for us. So we're definitely pushing. We're definitely giving them a game here. Yes, we're a bit unfortunate we've not scored. But we're definitely doing something. I think we've got a chance here. I really do. I'm telling them, please, even though we're 1-0 down, it's still a good performance. If we can get the equalising goal, we could do a lot of damage here. I really believe that. they got a corner or a free kick. It's a free kick. Okay, if they score this, it might be game over. Marcelino with a chance. Oh, he's at the post. That's a very lucky escape there from the free kick. We've got a throw. Ishan takes it. It's not the best throw in the world, but he's going to get the ball back anyway. And here's Calandra, Ishan, plays it across, Ugh, not the best ball is it, and they might do something, we'll get the ball again, Paddy finds a ball, that's oh, a good tackle, look at that for a tackle, he's up for it, isn't he? That's Piccioni, does that, and it's a chance for Diamante, I know we should be going defensive, and it's 2-0, but I have to try something, I can't just say, yeah, we're going to give up, that being said though, you know what it's about going defensive? I'm going to go more attacking. I don't care. Our goal difference is fine. We don't need to worry about it. We are going to do this anyway. We're going to go kick on and do some stuff here. We're going to make sure that they need to worry about us. Because I will refuse to just sit back. Because I know we can cause some problems here. I really do believe we could cause some damage. You know what it's about going um, more attacking? I decided to go more defensive. Because I realised actually I'm going to see this game out. You know we're losing... We can score from this situation. So I'm going to go for this. It's offside, so it's fine. But we, we should be good anyway. No more defense. It could work for us in a situation, surely. Here's Diamante. They got a chance. The guy has got a hat trick on his cards and he's missed it. So good keeping. I think we can get a goal, though, if we do a. Oh, that's not the pass I was looking for, but okay. Yeah, that's not going to help. Um, That is over. We if. I think the decision to go for this formation now has kind of worked because he's just been sent off an idiot. He's an idiot. He is an absolute idiot. I don't know what else to say about this situation. That's a penalty now. We're falling apart. We're just starting to actually just 
give up. This is why I hate this team sometimes. I'm hoping now, Mangoni has been penalised for it. So, it's a chance for a hat trick. It's a skull for a hat trick. It's 3 0. I was okay at 2 0. Now I've seen one of my players get sent off and another player give away a penalty. I'm not happy anymore. I'm just absolutely furious at my team giving up. Honestly. Yep, nothing else to say. I'm gonna completely say you are useless. Don't you dare get the de demotivated. You got sent off and you were rubbish. If you get demotivated for being rubbish, then you don't deserve to be here. Nothing else to say. Nothing else to say. I'm gonna go and see who our affiliate's gonna be because quite frankly, we were terrible and they deserve nothing. Finding all of them. I'm finding all the players. Nice, I became the CBR's manager's manager of the year. So that's good to see. And I also got the legend achievement on Steam. Where I've won five manager of the year awards. Which is very promising said at least. Okay, so the board have actually come back to me. And this is interesting. Shamrock Rovers, Waterford, FC Diffidang and Progress Nindercorn. So two Luxembourg teams and two Irish teams. Shamrock Rovers. Honestly, Shamrock Rovers immediately stand out because their facilities. What are your youth recruitment facilities like? Uh, Shamrock Rovers. Average and average, but great training facilities. That's promising to me. That is very promising to me. Waterford are also very good, but they are not as good. While the two Luke Ferenian teams, while could be useful, would actually give us more knowledge of that area we don't have knowledge of. I kind of want Shamrock Rovers just because of the area that they are in so yeah the facilities wins me over here and it means that that's the first time i've actually got a irish club as an affiliate which is very interesting either way we're gonna end this here i hope you guys have actually enjoyed yourselves hope you guys like and share this video and that you'll subscribe to the channel it really does help me out a lot but anyway until next time goodbye and well good night